Hi Anti Society, welcome back to the Antisocial Planet, and today we are checking out Seventeen, which is new to the channel, but not new to me. I have been a fan of Seventeen for a number of years now, but it was one of the groups that people have been asking me to check out, and I can't go back and listen to their old stuff for the first time with you guys, but I promised myself that when they had a comeback, I was gonna react to it with you guys, and I actually, on one of my more recent reactions I posted, had people saying, please react to Seventeen, so I knew that I had to do this, and I tried to wait, I really did, so that I could like focus on the groups I've already started on the channel, because I know I have stuff to catch up on, okay? But I couldn't do it anymore, okay? It's all over my feeds, I'm too invested in this group already, so I'm going to embarrass myself in this video. I have no idea what this song is going to sound like. I've stayed away from all of the stuff about it, so I have no context for what this song is going to be or this album. I'm just super excited. I'm going to be a little bit cringe, okay? It's just going to happen. I've, I've spent too much time falling in love with this group, so we're going to check out the song with the lyric video first and then get into the music video. I'm just- I can't wait anymore, so let's get into the song. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Look at the absolute cuties. My one thing though is this could go either way, okay? This could be su super cute and sincere or it could be really intense and attack me, okay? <laughs> Okay, first off, I think it's gonna be cute from the sound. That funky guitar, not you starting with Joshua. I'm super excited for this. It's kind of, it has a bit of a like summer bop vibe, which is a little bit weird given that we are not in the summer bop era, but I'm here for it. That guitar, great. Love that we have the like shouting layered vocals in there too. <laughs> Oh, the music video is gonna be so much fun. Okay, no, no. <laughs> Wait. The, okay, the bass, the funky guitar, the percussion coming in, those pauses in the music too. Stop. This song is going to be so much fun. The choreo. Oh, the choreo is going to be so much fun. The music video is going to be so fun. They obviously all sound amazing. Can we just talk about how amazing DK's voice is though? Like, his voice is too good. It makes me so angry that he gets to be that talented and I'm just like sat over here being average. <laughs> but like, Love the lineup so far. Really bright sounds in their voices too. Nice forward placement in the voices. I don't feel like I really need to tell you guys on how good singers this group is. I'm really looking forward to getting into the chorus. We get to see kind of what they're going to do with it. But so far, a super fun song and that makes me so happy. <laughs> I like that. I feel like this is just going to be them attacking me with their adorableness and not them coming for my soul, which I appreciate after the last comebacks. If you know, you know. Oh, that little cry in his voice too. Oh, that trade off too. This is so cute. Like the lyrics too of like how we might not speak the same language or we might like we've just met each other, like all these things of like it might be difficult for us to communicate, but like music is kind of this universal thing between us like the fact that we love music and the way that we can express ourselves through music in a way that transcends languages and cultures in a way that a lot of other things don't you know even just like dancing like having a like the the body language of how something can make you feel through like dancing and that kind of expression which i think is really cute especially for like someone like me who's obviously an english speaker i don't speak korean so me listening to their music there's obviously that barrier between the way that i experience their music and the way that someone who is a korean speaker experiences their music because both 
both their fans that are English speakers or speak other languages and them as musicians use music as a form of expressing how they're feeling or how they process different emotions or events in their life, it becomes this bridge between us regardless of where we are in the world. So I just think it's such a cute concept. And like, even if you don't have the lyrics up for this song, it's so much fun. And they seem to be having so much fun. Like the little, little things they're doing with their voices are just like, these little extra like elements to bring up that energy you don't have to know what the words mean to be able to go with it even like this part too where like they're switching between english and korean which is something that happens a lot in k-pop but just them doing that too is like you can switch the languages and still have people follow what you're talking about right like people who don't speak korean or don't speak english being able to still communicate with what the song is saying or how it's going to make you feel. This is just a feel good song, which I love. I like, I need something like this in my life. Honestly, life's been rough and Seventeen honestly has been my comfort group for like a bunch of stuff that I've been going through for the last part of this year. So having a fun song like this from them just like means something special to me, which is like the whole point of the song, right? Like that, that we can communicate that way. I'm going to stop talking. Okay. I get too excited about my favorite groups. Going back for Sun Kwan because his voice all of them though <laughs> i love all this i love like this is our happiness yes like you can listen to this song and be happy and have no idea what they're talking about just because of the way that it sounds which i love like the whole instrumentation on this is so good like it's it's so funky and it makes you want to move regardless of like how you're feeling like i just have a huge smile on my face partly because of 17 but also because of like just the vibe of this song <laughs> I like the elongated vowel there too. Ooh, that note change. Oh, they're doing fun things where they're changing the notes in it too which is i i don't know the proper terminology for it but i'm assuming they're switching it to like a sharp or something like something like that. <laughs> i don't know properly i know that they're switching the note there so that it's not fitting the normal um scale that's it that's all i got for that one i'm sorry i learned all of my music by ear uh super fun love the the part where they seem to be doing like syllables is i'm assuming that there isn't a proper translation for that so it might just be them picking syllables like because of the the beat of it like the certain sounds together to fit a certain beat love the way that the the instrumentation switches there and and love that if they are choosing those phrases because we had it with s coops verse as well where he he did a similar phrase that they're doing there and i'm assuming because it has the harder sounds in it we like k's and ch's which are a bit of a harder sound to them. So I'm assuming that we're doing it for like the certain cadence of the sounds. Maybe I, look, I have a linguistics degree. I will deconstruct nonsense phrases by like the way that they sound together. So like I'm here for it, but it's super fun, like super funky. Oh my gosh, I'm too in love with this. And I feel like I'm not deconstructing like their vocals a whole lot because I'm so used to them and I'm sorry for that because usually if I'm like new to voices I can pick out details because of like how novel it is to me whereas with a group that I've known for a super long time I'm like I know their vocal tones so well that I'm just like happy to be here. <laughs> this part. Yeah, it's a hard sound. This part though. Ooh, 
I love okay I love the way that we like took out a bunch of the production there so it was just like the beats with with Dino's part and then also saying like even noise is music to us like the way that we can you know find happiness and find a way to connect with each other even if other people don't understand it like even if to them it's just noise to us it's a way of making that bridge between us regardless of where we're from or what languages we're speaking or what our experience in life is this is like our way of finding that even ground between us excuse me sir i want you boozy to like give me space give me breathing room you know like he's been he's been a problem for me since day one and like he really 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 wants to be included in my bias line and i have like a theme with my bias line and and if we start to include everyone who's a problem it's just gonna be everyone he did not need to go off like that though <laughs> It's like, it's like mixed too. Like he doesn't flip up fully into like a, a head voice or like a falsetto. Like it's, he's like pulling his voice up to hit that. Whew, we're going back for one more round. <laughs> I was worried that DK was not going to be kind to me there. I was like, look, I'm already reeling from, from Woozy. I can't get you to go. The fact that they're going Sun Quan, DK, Woozy is like already lethal. But I was like, please, please just like sing it in a nice, gorgeous way. Do not come for me with your vocals because I know he can. <laughs> his tone oh, I love the little cry they put there like they at that last part they like tighten up their vocal cords which is a great way of just getting a little bit of grit into that and it's just like mm, it's a nice little flavor at the end there Sing. Dance break? There better be. No, no, no. We are not pulling out a bunch of the instrumentation and then going S Coops Wanu. Absolutely not. Because they are in my bias line and they, they are the ones that have more grit to their voices. No, we are not letting their voices have a spotlight here for the sake of my mental health. My adrenaline is a little bit high now. <laughs> there better be a dance break though, that one part. Like there's no way we're having Hoshi at like front and center for his part and then not going into a dance break during that little break down there. It would be criminal. I'm not ready. Ooh, I love the horns coming in. Oh, I love that we have the horns coming in. No, don't end. Oh 
my gosh. Okay. My adrenaline is very high and I was just listening to the song. I don't know if I had any real constructive thoughts there. I hope they were peppered throughout. I think most of it is just pure delight that I have from the song, which I think is what it's for. Like, I feel like this song is just about being happy, listening to some fun music, having fun and laughing together, and like letting go of all of the stress and worries and all of the darkness that I know that we all have. And honestly, I kind of love that, like I was saying, it feels like a summer bop, but we're coming into it in the fall, at least where I am. So it's not going into like warm and sunny months. It's going into dark, dreary, cold months. And I kind of love that they're releasing it now because it's like, hey, things are going to be a little bit bleak for a little while. Let's have fun and listen to the song and just enjoy music together and leave everything behind. I, lo I, I love that, especially where, where I'm at right now in my life. I need some of that. But now we have the music video and I just, there's gonna have to be great dancing in it because that's like a huge part of the whole story of the song. The, the instrumentation is too good for there not to be some phenomenal dancing in this music video. I'm also expecting some adorableness and also some crackhead energy because it's 17. So let's get into the MV. All right, this is the part where I am going to embarrass myself because I'm gonna see their faces and they're gonna do something really cute and I'm gonna lose it. So if you don't want to be a part of that, leave now because I cannot promise that I'll behave myself. <laughs> Oh dear, that stresses me out. Oh no! That also stresses me out. Are we not allowed to make music? Is this like a footloose thing? Are we gonna be rebels? Because I support. <laughs> A smile. <laughs> oh my gosh. Of course it's Hoshi. Sir. I'm sorry. For one, his smile. For second, sir, what did I do to you? I don't remember doing anything to warrant this behavior. <laughs> I love the quick change. Oh my gosh. You know, I stopped trying to understand Hoshi many years ago. I want to see the behind the scenes now because how did this work out? Like the logistics of making this particular scene happen. <laughs> Look at the cutie pie. Oh my gosh, I love all the like neon throughout. I love how his like his uh scoops like shirt is like like rib cage with the heart in it though, just like a cool top. Uh Vernon's hair here also great. <laughs> Ooh, what was that spin? Also the boots. Oh, now I gotta see dance practice. Oh my goodness. Ming Hao. <laughs> okay, it's fine. I'm fine. I was gonna talk about how I love the footwork in the choreo. Also, like a little bit more simplified, which I from like other choreo that I've seen from them, which I think is probably intentional because it's supposed to be about like dancing and enjoying it music together as opposed to like 
them popping off with how talented they are when it comes to choreo. So I appreciate that they're kind of making it something that can be done by like lots of different people. I'm sure that like TikTok is full of people dancing to this song by now. Minghao came for me though. Okay, the the long blonde hair and the outfit. Okay, it's fine. <laughs> Dino's smile too. Oh my goodness, where did we crash through there? I love the trading off between like the two sides, like 17. And then also all these people that are there, like younger people too. Like it's a lot of like kids, which I think is really symbolic, right? Because like kids are, you know, the next generation, like the the future. And there's also like a certain innocence to them and a certain carefreeness to them. So it's like encouraging happiness and feeling carefree. And like, also, I feel like it could also be symbolic of just like embracing your like more childish tendencies of like allowing yourself to have fun and let go and like not have things worry you in the way that they do once you grow up. It's annoying. I hate the fact that I have to worry about things. Like I, I don't know who decided that I should have control over my life, but, uh, I, I don't remember agreeing to that. It was a bad decision. So I love the trading off between them and also like spot the difference between who are the kids and who are 17. It's a, it's a much harder game than you might think. Dino's such a good dancer. We gotta go back for him. <laughs> Cutie. Oh, I love how they had the glass going out at the same time, too. Agreed, because that note. That note. His little hat, though. So cute. <laughs> Oh, I love the shake effect. Oh, look at the cutie pie. <laughs> I love the shaking effect when it went to DK. I love how there's the rainbow in the back. There's so much craziness happening of like them doing like little animated elements in the background, but it's so cute. Like it's, this is what I needed. You know, this is like the pure happiness that I needed introduced into my life. And I'm so glad to be here. <laughs> Oh, I love the hand with like the the trumpets that are happening. That's so cute. <laughs> My goodness, that jacket. can't get over the fact that there's a donkey there, but also we got suddenly aggressive there, okay? Look, the 8 has been coming for me ever since Hot MV happened, which I feel like we're all in the same boat about. Like, if it didn't happen before that MV, it definitely happened during that MV, and the, the blonde, the long blonde hairs is a little bit too much for me. I like Hoshi's little hat, though. I don't know why he's with a donkey, but I support him. <laughs> No, unnecessary. I don't need the POV.
why are we in space? Also, I just had a moment where I'm like, are we having Escoops on the screen and before we had him on the stretcher because he couldn't be there for, for filming and dancing? Because that just makes me sad. I was kind of wondering if there were going to be a couple of the members possibly missing because I know that it's been a little bit, there's been people missing recently with their more recent shows and stuff like that. So I was kind of wondering if everyone was actually going to make it in, but I'm, I'm assuming maybe that's why, because I don't know if I've seen him in any of the other scenes now that I think about it. There's been a lot happening, so I'm not being able to take it all in at once. I don't need Vernon playing drums for my mental health, thank you. I don't need to be that close up to Mingyu, thank you. <laughs> did we love the long hair on Mingyu? I know that we did, generally speaking. I'm a fan of shorter haircuts in general, so that was a little bit too much for me. I did rewind though, so we're gonna watch it again. <laughs> That's a wonderful jacket, sir. See, he's not here for this part. Yeah, see, he's not in any of the group scenes, so I'm assuming that's because he was gone because of his injury. Makes me sad. I love that they figured out a way to put him in, though. I'm a little bit worried about the fact that they have him in here because he's in the hospital, literally in the MV. But I like that we've we found a way to incorporate him in. Also, this scene, like, on the bridge. These jackets. Oh, we're literally dropping the mic. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, the dance is so cute. The little shoulder. Cute, I love that. Oh my gosh, that was so cute, which I was hoping for. I was hoping that it would just be the cutest thing on the planet because I needed that, okay? I needed this comeback of just joy and a funky guitar. And I didn't get to see a dance break where I thought there would be one. We got an adorable Uzi though on the like, I don't even know what that would be, the the like keyboard, but it's also has like, it's almost like a guitar as well. I don't really know what that would be called. But didn't we see one of those in the hot MV as well? Didn't like Joshua have one? I don't know if there's actually a connection, honestly. Super, super cute MV. I'm a little bit sad about the whole s Coops thing, but I totally understand like the logistics of that. And I'm happy that they were able to incorporate him in regardless of that. And I was just like a huge smile on my face. <laughs> I loved everything about that. I loved all the colors. I love kind of the retro styling for some of it. I love that they were being goofy, but also like just like their sweet selves. I like that no one like intentionally came for me, though I got my eyes on a few of them. But that's just because me being too invested in this group at this point. That That's mostly on me. They were just trying to be adorable. But I, I love all the little parts in the choreo that I got to saw. I love that they kind of highlighted the seems like a little bit more simplified choreo that they put into the chorus because obviously the whole song is about like being able to dance and share in music together so if it was like one of their more complex choreos it wouldn't make sense with the song i like the little dance break that we had at the end i really really want to see a dance practice i want to see one anyway because their dance practices are always phenomenal but i really want to see like the full choreo for this because i think it's probably there's probably lots of other points where they've utilized their dancing like we had the little part with dino and then there was also the part where they were doing like the the like syllable part um, where it seems like they were going a little bit more into the choreo that I'm used to seeing from them. There was a clip with like where Verna was in front where it seemed like that was where they were kind of letting their dance skills shine a little bit more but overall just super super cute, super upbeat. I would have listened to the song so much and just like brighten up my mood so I hope you enjoyed listening to that along with me. Let me know if you want me to check out some more Seventeen stuff here. Obviously there's only so much that I can since I am already someone who listens to their music all the time but I can definitely 
check out the album if you want to or music practices or live performances whatever if nothing else just chat with me about the group down in the comments because i would love to i'm a huge carrot so come and talk to me about it but i hope you enjoyed watching that along with me and i will see you in the next video bye